You're listening to the best of ITW, brought to you by Pop Guide and WikiLeaf. The new and deadly menace lurking behind closed doors. Marijuana, the burning weed with its roots in hell. On this episode, ITW welcomes adult film star, actor, producer, and professional paintballer, Miss Nikki Vicious. Did you know Half Baked only has 52% on Rotten Tomatoes? That's, you know, Rotten Tomatoes is dog shit. Oh, or, Rotten Tomatoes or, or reviewers is so are dog shit. More so. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get off Rotten Tomatoes and talk about our friend Nikki Vicious, adult film star, um, you know, trans actor, producer. Oh, yeah. Uh, professional paintballer. Professional yeah, paintballer. That's so sick. Um, all around great human being. All around great human being. Uh, Real friend. Friend. Yeah. yeah. I've, we texted last night. Nikki has definitely become a, or not, t- I read a text from her last night because I'm a dick. It was from like last week, but we were talking about a video we just did. Um, had a couple breakthroughs on it. Anyway, so I thank you for that because she's a, she had actually turned out to be a, a good friend. Yeah. And she's a great friend, old homie for a long time now. And uh, we actually, uh, during the pandemic, met up because she was testing a lot and so was I. Yeah, yeah. And so when I didn't see anyone for a long time, I got I met up with her and we sat outside and we're safe and we yeah. both smoked joints and just hung out. Oh nice. It was cool. So That's it was really so cool. special. And she's always uh I actually uh I recently saw her in Vegas at the punk rock bowling music mm-hmm. festival, the oh, last nice. one. Yeah. She came out to the Laura Jane the Laura Jane Gray show that I was I was uh, running the show so uh but it was cool man and she's stayed a great friend to all of us and mm, yeah. she's really she's another person i'd love to have back on because her life is just this cool continuing journey and she's like le- just living out like cool goals and dreams you know what i mean she just keeps climbing up the ladder and doing new cooler things so i i'm really excited for her yeah yeah we uh, we got to hang out with her, spend some time with her. She's um, the homie. Was it? Was it still? I guess a bit of summer. I guess a while ago. It doesn't seem like that long ago. No, but I guess it was August or September. Yeah. Right? August or September. But uh, she came up and we shot a short That's film so together bitchy. for uh, a band I play. And we collaborated and we got to write a script together. And, it's so uh, exciting, man. It's a lot of fun. And it's we just, cool that Rules is collaborating with her. Yeah, it's it's neat. You know? It's neat. And it was uh, really. It, 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 I think it's going in the right direction. We had yeah, a couple yeah. breakthroughs from the editing perspective and. Um, she's great in it and she's, you know, Bub's exec produced and, um, she's one of the producers and it was uh, the original concept I think was her and Chuck, but, um, yeah, I wrote the script and everything, but it was, uh, just remarkable to have her up here and then, um, see how much she appreciates it. You know what I mean? And like, it's, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Like she's, I'm sure she's shared these stories, you know, tough stories with all of us and it's, yeah. um, fucking bullshit to put it frankly that people, yeah. you know, like. That, that should, you know, trans people have to put up with that nonsense on the daily basis. On the daily basis, yeah. people just being fucking assholes. It was. Uh, you know? I get a lot of strength from her, man. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. A lot. She's uh, she's been a really wonderful influence on my life, and also, you know, gives me someone to have conversations about as I'm trying to mature and have a better understanding of the LGBTQ like a, yeah, community. Point of, a point of reference. To, you know, it's it's it helps. You know yeah. what I mean? It's it's uh, there's so many people that are you know feel that way and haven't come out yet. It, it's you know and, and you know trying to be a an ally. I guess I don't know if that's a trope to say right now, but trying to be somebody who supports that community. It's um, it's important to communicate, and um, she's patient and. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll share this because it's embarrassing, and I think it's important to own up to your mistakes. So when we were first doing this this episode, um, I said, uh, I texted her. I'm like, hey, Nikki, like, how do you want to be, uh, you know, like credited, like like a trans adult film star? And she's like, well, trans isn't my job, then. And I'm like, oh my god. And she's like, you're so sweet for asking, but I was like, what a stupid fucking thing to say. You know what right. I mean? But she was like so nice about it, and like it just. Because she understands. To, to further your point, it's there's a learning curve, you yeah. know, and it's um, and she's been so generous, and I agree. I feel the same way that uh, my life is better because I know her, and um, it yeah. was really tough writing the script because a lot of the stuff that didn't make it into the script because we couldn't fit it in. Um, most of the interactions were something that were directly from her life, and it's fucking tough. I won't get into it now because you know people are trying to have a yeah. trying to have a fucking good time over hey, here. Man. It's, it's really hard. And Nikki is again. And Nikki you know, is actually one of the funnest fucking people to hang out with. Absolutely. Dude, I had a blast absolutely. when I hung out with her in Vegas. I don't want she's, this to sound like it's a bummer because it's no, not. No, because she's fucking awesome. Yeah, so. she's uh, just inspiring and we Hell love yeah. her. 
And I just hope everybody friends gets for life. from this friends episode, for life, Nikki. sort of even the slightest gist of what we're all saying now, because she's amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hope you guys like this one. Um, I'm sure you will. Uh, Nikki Vicious on the best of the ITW podcast. Ew. Ew. We're here. Yes, we're back at it. We're in, we're West Hall or we're in the Hollywood Hills. We are with Nikki Vicious, adult film star. How you doing? Good. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, oh, you're stoked. We're so stoked. You have you, you're friends of you. You know Ephraim. You have some history with Ephraim. Yeah, right? a little bit. I mean, yep. You know, how did that happen? How did you guys become uh, friends? Instagram, and then I yeah. go to concerts and stuff. So yeah. you see people there. And gave, yeah. me, gave me tickets one time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Nice yeah. guy. Nice guy. He's a pretty nice guy. Yeah. yeah. He's all right. He's all right. You, uh, I just found out before we started recording, you grew up, you're Canadian as well, like me and old Bubs yep. here. Yep. Where'd you grow up? Uh, born and raised in, uh, well, Vancouver, but you know, as you know, uh, yeah. I'm actually from Surrey. Yeah. So oh, we nice. say Vancouver, just like I'm sure you guys say, you know. No, we say Hamilton. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you told yeah. So we try and hide. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. there's only been one episode of Drugs, Inc. about Canada and what city is it shot in? Surrey. 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 Yeah, Surrey, Surrey can be pretty rough, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's rough. Yeah, was it rough growing up there? Um, Not as bad. When I left, like, the gangs kind of took over, and yeah. it, it's not not a good place. Wow. You know, yeah. I mean, it's still it's still suburbia, but for Canada, yeah. it's a little, you know, a little dicey at times. It's so weird yeah. because it's so small, like, relatively small there, mm-hmm. but there's such a, a vast uh, selection of, like, crime going on in oh, gangs. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, it's, yeah. it's, it really is. Um, just, you know, drugs. You yeah. know, drugs well, took over and it's like bad. But. Bikers, yeah. brutal. Press it. Like, mm. oh, it's horrible. Mm. Yeah, it can be. I mean, but there's great, I know great yeah. people hey, from there too. No, I was, I was about to say, hey, what are some good things about Surrey? Yeah, no, there's some great hey, let's shout out Surrey, Surrey well. man. Right, Surrey, right, what right. up, good Surrey? Place. I like it there. I have yeah. a business there still. So. Get, what, what's your business? I, I own a paintball field. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's, um, so, uh, so what, 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 if, uh, you don't have to share your age, but like, what if you don't want? I don't, I don't know. I, I, but well, like, how, like, what era of like when do, when are you living in Surrey? Like, you like eighties, oh, nineties? Uh, when did well, you grow up? I'm thirty. I was living there okay. up until I was about twenty five or okay. you know, twenty four ish, and then yeah. I started coming here. And, yeah. Yeah. And then you came down. Yeah. Then so yeah, basically, you know, 1987 through 2000, whatever. Wow. Yeah. What brought you to LA initially? Um, just visiting here and like, you know, I'm weird for back home. Like I am the, oh, sorry. I'm the weirdest person like in the room back home always in here. Like, have you seen the people here? They're fucking nuts. <laughs> like, I'm never even close to the weirdest person here. There's always oh someone like, you know, yeah. So it's nice to just feel normal. And like, I liked how like, you know, the radio, the they substituted Nickelback for social distortion here. I'm, yeah. I, I like yeah. That, I like the vibes here. So mm-hmm. that's cool. Fit in better, if that's my long roundabout answer. Were there a lot of like music venues down in Surrey and stuff? Like for the no, punk, no, punk no, scene? No, no, no. Everyone went downtown. Oh, like okay. Rickshaw, I'm sure. Efren, you've been to the Rickshaw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've played the Rickshaw. Total, total shithole. <laughs> I, I, I love it there. I live like literally yeah. across the street from it. I've done had some good times at the Rickshaw. So have I. So have I. We played with <laughs> yeah. the Souls there once. It was. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was great. Um, that's cool. And so, dude, what, what what was the drug culture like growing up in Surrey? What was it around you? What, what? Oh, I mean, weed was weed was everywhere. Like yeah. you could not, like I could not get alcohol as a teenager to save my life. But weed yeah. was like fish in a barrel, like anybody yeah. you left. Yeah. Where, where when was you first introduced to it? Oh, probably grade. Oh, was like when did you first see it? Like when, like say, was it a teacher oh, being like, no. don't fuck with it? You oh know? no, really early on. Like it yeah. was always okay. Like. So when I was a little older, I realized that my neighbor, who always was smoking out of a pipe, he kind of was like Wilson from Home Improvement, you know, (laughs) always looking over the fence, but he's always smoking this shit that smelled awful out of his pipe. Mm -hmm. As I grow up, I'm like, oh, shit. Wilson was a stoner. (laughs) Right? (laughs) So he was out there all the time getting high. And so that's kind of where I was introduced to it. But as a, you know, early high school... We all, yeah. we all smoke weed. It's Canada, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially BC. Uh, yeah, I often joke it's like a high school elective. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's you know, amazing. Do you, remember, do you remember your first time smoking weed? Oh, like, completely, yeah. Can you tell us about it? Uh, okay, we had like, I think we had a gram and there was like probably like seven of us in like the forest, you know, like the typical in the forest thing. And I think we tried to roll it but had to resort to the old, you know, old trusty bu- like can there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm ashamed to admit it, but we all were there at one point. Um, uh, but yeah, no, it was a really good time. And when people say they didn't get high their first time, like, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, I remember going home and I brought the toaster down into my basement. 
and I just ate like a whole 16 pack of Eggo waffles, like, back to back, like no sauce, what? butter, just like yeah. crackers. Wow. Good time. And it, so after that, you were into it. You liked it. Oh, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you kept smoking recreationally, things like that? Uh, yeah. Basically, I mean, I wasn't an all day, everyday stoner immediately, but, mm. you know, it just a little and a little it turned to more and more and it always seemed to kind of help me a little more than my friends. Mm-hmm. You know, I could handle it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does that makes sense. Not yeah. like I'm tough or nothing, but yeah, sure. like, it just, yeah. Some people, everybody metabolizes it, it differently. Was, so. Yeah. It was more like a cigarette for me. Right. It yeah. just kind of calmed the fuck down and yeah. it was a little more normal. What was the culture? Like how were your parents around cannabis? Did you have brothers and sisters and things? Like um, that? I, have, I have a little brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, he actually, you know, he's tried it, but he is my, yeah. he's just like not one of those people that smokes sure. weed. He's not against it or anything, yeah. you know, but, no, he doesn't do it. My parents, I was a straight A student. They didn't know I smoked weed until uh, uh, like two weeks before graduation, which was coincidentally the only time my wow. mother and I have smoked weed together. Wow. Oh, wow. And he goes, oh, oh. Dude. I'm like, what the fuck, Eric? Like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. the one time, and she's like, what are you doing? And like, you know, she was mind blown. Like, yeah. you know, I was selling weed. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, you were? You have no fucking idea, yeah. really? Like, yeah, yeah. Smart lady, but like, mom. I, I think moms sometimes uh, believe what they choose, sort of, blinders. or believe what they want yeah, to. Yeah, blinders, yeah, yeah. Hey, I mean, I had straight A's. I had a job. You know, what's the problem? And, and so, you, did you say you smoked with your mom? Or oh no, oh, oh no, so no. you smoked with your brother? I thought you my said little, smoked, my little brother. Oh, I thought and you said my brother, yeah. uh, my mother. Sorry. Sorry. Um, so what, what was? How was he smoking? Uh, oh, he was. It was his first time, so he was like giggly, and you know, he had a good time. Like thirteen-year-old kid, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, and that, what's the age difference? Um, I'm a oh, good question. I'm four years older. Okay. So he's 27, I believe. Okay. Okay. Um, that's really cool. And then what was your high school experience like? Uh, really hazy. I mean, I, I had the, one of the highest uh, grade point averages and I also had the high school record for most classes skipped, which was 49%. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh wow. yeah. I never, I just never went cause I don't really learn in a classroom setting. Yeah. Just give me the book and let me read the book. I'll go home and read it and. And still got straight A's. I showed up high every day. And like everyone's really? just like, Amazing. my law 12 uh, test, I was cooked out of my tree. Mm-hmm. And everyone knows. And then I get like, you know, the highest mark in the whole fucking, like our province or state for you American peoples. Really? Yeah, you got yeah, the highest my, mark? In the, yeah, tell tell teacher, us about that. My teacher's just like, what the fuck? Like they're trying to stump me and they're trying to <laughs> fuck me over. And they're just like, you can do no wrong at this. And like, I could always do school, but I couldn't, you know. Yeah. yeah, I can figure out school, but I couldn't figure out my personal life. That's sort right. Of yeah, right. So, where, so, th- when did you st- uh, begin to transition, or when did you begin? To, oh, when did what, this all happen? Yeah, um, yeah. I, guess. I mean, it's something sure. I knew in my whole life, but probably uh, uh, the drugs I probably started taking at twenty four. Okay. Um, fully out of the closet, twenty six ish. Okay. Okay. And then, so you said you knew your whole life, and then how did how did that? How, how did that metast- metastasize? I guess. Oh. Like, how, how do you? How do you? How does that happen? I really, know that's really painfully over a very long period of okay. time. I mean, it's yeah. not something. Okay, I'm probably gonna get in trouble for my friends for saying this, but mm. I kind of view it as like a birth defect, and defect is what? the wrong word to use. But okay. it's like you know, it's like some people are born left-handed, some yeah, people yeah. have three arms. An anomaly, maybe. It's yeah. just it, I'm just a little different. But sure. for me, you know, if you were born with any other defect, a doctor would be like, "That's it. You need to do this." Right. For me, I had to figure it out on my own, right. right? And, you know, a lot of the medical science we have isn't conducive to this. And sure. It doesn't, you know, yeah. I wasn't given the tools to figure out what I was. Yeah. So it's, it's a really long, 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 painful journey of failing to be a man over and over and over. And, what? you know, yeah. going like, Whoa. doesn't seem right. No. And, then, you yeah. know, yeah. Just what? admitting that you're a fucking liar, really. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, like wow. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, I never looked at it in in that that perspective. It's my boy. No, no, no. I mean, for me, it was, um, I was with a girl who I, you know, I'd been with her for seven years. And I, I, you know, only person that really has ever loved me or treated me well. And I just knew, you know, deep down, I'm like, oh, man, I'm a fucking liar. You know, looking at this girl in the face all the time. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, so I really just told her because I didn't want to lie to her. And I kind of just planned to myself after yeah. uh, and she was like you know what i know you give it a crack you might be able to fucking help someone and yeah i know it's cool that's why i love my instagram and i get the people that are yeah. like hey i'm a little weirdo in the closet fucking go you you know oh that's, that's what amazing. i thought was always cool was following you on instagram because it was kind of like i was kind of watching your journey 
Yeah, I'm you trying know? to do an honest take at it. Which is inspiring. Yeah. You know, most of the girls want to be so, like, flowery and shit and, like... Yeah. I'm lazy. I'm at home eating McDonald's most yeah. of the time, like, riding my skateboard. Like, did, I don't... Yeah. Did you, did you have, like, did you, did you have role models you could turn to, it, like, that, that, that inspired you to... Um, I mean, like, we have, like, like how so? I, I mean, like and, like, like, like you or, just said, you, like, like you just said that you, like some people are, are, are cheering you on and you're kind of inspiring. They're sending you messages, you know, giving them hope. Oh, like, okay. who, like who, who would have, who would have been somebody that you, you would have looked to as like, um, honestly, or was there anybody for, for you to look to? Honestly, I mean, it's kind of funny, but I used to always look up to the porn girls because again, the education for stuff like this right. is not very good. Yeah. Right. So, you know, that was kind of my, that's, you know, when I found out what transgender people were, it was through porn. So oh. I used to look up to a bunch of these girls like, wow. oh, my God, they're so pretty. Like, I'll never be like that. And now, you know, some of them are my friends. Like, one of the girls wow. is like, hey, you want to go get high and play Dreamcast at my house? That's right. so cool. Right? And it's yeah. just like, holy shit, I did it, right? And That's I amazing. She's still way prettier than me. It is stuff, amazing. Who's like, still playing fucking Dreamcast? Right, right. That's so fucking strange. I know. <laughs> but that's, that's remarkable. And so, so... Um, so you started watching transgender por like porn or whatever. I mean, like, like, not like I don't think in the same context that my fans watch it. Cause, sure, like, I, I it realized very early on that I was looking at the wrong side of the screen. Right, oh. and you know, I was more into like you know, for me, I can't really watch normal porn because I don't really like, got the bits yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, so I was kind of more uh, investigative research, I would say. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, wow. then, then, so you started coming to, back, started coming down here. So did you go to, did you go to, uh, like, okay. oh, no problem. Kara's getting caught in my fucking mouth. Yeah. Whatever. Go ahead. <laughs> um, uh, did, so after high school, did you go to university or anything like that? Um, actually, a funny story. I was going to go to, like, trade school because sure. I wanted to, you know, be a mechanic. I actually do cars with my dad and stuff. That's, um, awesome. That's cool. I was diagnosed with a massive brain tumor and about a week before school started and I had the surgery the day my school was supposed to start. So. Mike, I'm so... S oh, no, 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 no. I would, I would be dead. I would be completely dead. You know, they caught it right at the last minute. Really? That's amazing. And then what were the symptoms of that? How did that, um, how did that manage? Well, uh, we found it because I actually got beat up by the police in a case of mistaken identity. Yeah, yeah, see, I yeah. told you I had an interesting story wow. here. Um, no, a case of mistaken identity and we were going to sue the police and we had an MRI and my lawyer's like, yeah. You got some bigger fish to fry right now. So, oh, yeah, we did that, and they cut it out. No, it was, it, honestly, in terms of surgeries, I knew I knew three seconds after they told me what I had, you're gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. They're like, you're gonna have a real shitty month, but you'll be okay. No cancer. So, wow, that's yeah. awesome. Wow, yeah. deaf in one year. You know, I now I got an excuse to smoke a lot more weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an accident, so, man. Like, yeah, so cannabis. Yeah. yeah, cannabis was with you through all that. Oh hell yeah, yeah no, no weed's my friend. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and so do, do you think um, when you're growing up and, and, and you've, you've always used kind of weed as a, as a coping mechanism and then, and then so, like, you didn't recognize that completely, as a younger person? Completely, completely, like, oh, no, yeah, exactly. It was always a coping mechanism. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, that's a completely unrelated thing, you know. I yeah. have a lot of other issues that I need to cope for as well, right? Like, right. I deal with the depression and stuff. And okay. I always just liked how weed made you not care when you're like one of those neurotic people that can't yeah. shut off your brain. It's yeah. just like, it's sometimes nice to just be... Exactly. I yeah. agree. Stare at yeah. a TV and like, haha, I've watched this epi episode of The Simpsons like 800 times. I still laugh like Mr. <laughs> Pop. Yeah. <dope>. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and I've often compared it to like, you've seen the movie Road Trip? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, 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 that stoner guy when he's talking to the old man about how it just finally made me normal and I could be like a normal person yeah. and have conversations with yeah. people without wanting to like blow their brains out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, yeah. So weed has helped mm. me immensely. Yeah. So good. Yeah. That's remarkable. Mm -hmm. uh, so then, so you then after, so you didn't go to bother, so after your, your, your surgery, you didn't go back to like post second, you didn't go to. Um, unfortunately, where the timber was uh, kind of scrambles your nerves for a bit. So okay. it took a, it took a couple of years before I was able to like fully be a person again. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. And then, wow. so that's, that's probably around when you started coming down here, maybe a bit after that um, and started hanging out. No, a little, little after, a little after I was kind of, I started coming down here, uh, Actually, for, for some uh, tournaments and stuff. And yep. you know, I just really liked it here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And when did you decide to um, like like live here full time? And, and yeah, live here full time, and then fully come out of the I, closet. I, and and oh, it's just, like, what was the catalyst to they say, "Fuck it, I'm going for this"? Okay, well, living here full time was I actually met a guy when I was here on yeah. holidays, and yeah, we're married now. So. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was one of those people that went on holidays and never left. But <laughs> now that coming out of the closet was just too too much. Like I just had had enough, and you yeah. know, you can only go so long of being a fraud. And I think it was um, it's kind of cliche, but the you know the man again. Me obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Laura Jane Grace, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Like when she did it, I'm like, like without saying, you know, past her past name or whatever. But yeah, if she can do it, fuck, man, I got no excuse. Yeah, like, um, yeah, yeah. Like, she, she's, she's brave as shit. Yeah, she is. I, I, I've had the pleasure of touring with, uh, with, with against me in my, in my old band, um, like previous, like like previous to uh, come, which Laura Jane came out, um, and. It's it's so brave and it's 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 such a it, oh, was, yeah. it, it really it um it opened my eyes like it, it just it, it just it, I think it made a lot more people aware than, than oh. I think the impact was massive especially amongst like the punk culture community yeah, which completely. you know it was it was remarkable so that's and, that's pretty you know, interesting she's not like a weirdo or nothing like she's not posting like ooh here's my butt like I know I do that but, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know she's just a normal normal person like Absolutely. hey I just want to be honest I'm tired of being a fraud right. yeah and then when you go back over the catalog and you, and you realize a lot of the things um, mm-hmm. that she was singing about it's like oh fuck I, th- I think with the one song that str- like comes to mind is um, the ocean and it says it makes you understand, like, well, I don't know if, I don't know um, if, like, you know, like, a white size male will ever be able to completely fucking understand, but I, like, mm-hmm. I, I, I try I mean, to, I, I try to. I, I was one at some point. So. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, right. yeah, I guess, right. yeah. Right. Right. Never see never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, that's yeah. really cool. So, I mean, let's, mm-hmm. then you want, you, you brought up, you know, showing your ass on the internet or whatever. Yeah. That, right. And then how did you get into that? How did you get in the, like, the adult film industry? Um, I, like, I had a lot of, you know, the, there's a lot of costs with this associated, even right. though I'm from Canada and it's all covered. Um, yeah. You know, there's still, you know, buying a whole new life. You, yeah. know, you have to buy a whole yeah. new set of clothes. You have to learn. You have to spend. I mean, God, I'm I'm nine. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm nine thousand dollars in just laser hair removal. Wow. Right? Think about that. Right. Yeah. Like that's a that's a you know pretty okay used car. Yeah. And wow. I don't have like a source of income other than that mm. so you know a lot of us fall into that industry mm. because we need money mm. yeah. unfortunately people throw money like hand over fist at us to do it right. so and mm. if you look at the population we're like one percent of the population or less wow. and yeah. like holy shit are there a lot of websites about us like, yeah it's like yeah. the numbers don't add up yeah right right right, right. Mm. it's right. blind demand huh. <laughs> so, um I never Should, thought about the laser hair removal, how much that would cost with all the I mean, follicles. I mean, it, it yeah, depends. Yeah. Without being racist or nothing, I am really jealous of the Asian girls because uh, they're like two treatments. Like, oh my God, it was so painful. Yeah. It's like number 117. Like, Jeez. I have the girl at my Starbucks and I can see her going through it right now. And it's, mm. it's also really fun to watch like how she's coming more into her own as she's starting to get rid of the hair. But when she first started, it was like the darkest stubble. Oh my god! It was yeah. like it was honestly really? like F, like F has to shave twice a day kind of thing, and then I started to see it start to go away, and just see her carrying herself a little bit differently now. But mm. it's been a process, and I, I didn't realize in, that it was that much money. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it can be. It really just depends on your genetics. Um, mm-hmm. Unfortunately, um, East German. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. Um. So in high school, did you identify like were you identifying as gay, or did you know? No, 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 no. This no. came as a huge shock to everyone. No, I was um, very like Paul, no. Paul Walker esque. Um, yeah. No, no, like people did not put it together. I was really like, gay. No, I was in the closet, both in my head and. Oh, okay. Yeah, they oh, okay, did not. Like okay. I said, I dated a woman. And, yeah, you yeah. Know, seven years. Right? And then when, when when did you realize? Like, just was that just from like looking at like was there a, was there? <sighs> you kind of you kind of get to the point where you're like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah. You, know, right. you you try and run from it. You try and run from it, and then you just you know you realize what you are. Yeah. Right. Kinda. Yeah. Right. I don't really know how I realized, but you just kind of yeah. You, Something, it runs through your head. I can't even describe how, like, you know, you're a fraud, you're a fraud, this isn't right. you. And then, you know, every five minutes for my entire life. And then as soon as I come out of the closet and start being like this, never again. Never thought about it. Oh, that's awesome. Never uh, thought, like, oh, yeah. maybe you were wrong. Maybe you yeah. were a guy. Like, no, no, no. Never. Yeah. Not, not even once. Not even for a second. How did you meet your husband? 
Um, we actually both knew each other. He actually knew me before me. We weren't friends or anything, but um, yeah, uh, in the paintball world. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, um, you, uh, like, it, 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 are we, can we get more, a little more detail of that? You come from oh, yeah, yeah. No, um, yeah. He, he and his friends run, like, one of the biggest companies. Uh, yeah. Shout out HK Army. Hey. Yeah, shout out uh, HK Army. Yeah. 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 Um, no, they uh, run one of the biggest, or, you know, they all were, like, part of this little club and stuff. Yeah. And they all went to grow, like, one of the biggest companies. He mm-hmm. quit, but he's kind of, like, the hang-around guy, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Um, they actually drove a bus on the Warp Tour for a while. I remember I seeing that, remember bus. that bus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I totally remember that. A lot that. of bad times on that bus. But, um... Yeah, so we kind of met. Um, he, I guess he had some of an inkling to people like me, but yeah, yeah. never acted on it. So he was okay. just kind of friendly to me online. And Yeah, yeah. Uh, we had a really bad date. Around, sorry, I was here yeah. uh, visiting. I thought I was on a date with this guy who was yeah. really baller. He comes back from the bathroom. He's like, so I'm going to want, like, I think, like a reach around and this, that, and the other thing. How much is that going to cost me? And I'm just sitting there like, like you know, I'm like a like a girl like learning how to date men and I'm just thinking I'm on an actual date and I'm like oh god oh, I think no. so I you know broke my heart and uh, my husband uh, at, before I had said hey you're visiting my city if you have any issues call me so I did he picked me up we had some jack in the box on my bed and yeah three years what? later we're that's awesome that's yeah yeah awesome. it's cool cool that's, um, how, did your um, how, like how did your family react? How, how do they feel? But are they supportive? Oh, I think my mom is just really excited to know she didn't fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is such a tryhard. Like she's yeah. the best mom in the world. Oh. And like um, you know, I was just such a fucking mess. Like just you know, drunk all the time. Like I avoided right. the family. You know, I smoked a lot of weed, but I smoked a lot of weed. Right. right. Um, and. You know, they could, she could never figure out. I was crying all the time. Like, I was mm. just a fucking ass. So after I came out, they're like, fuck. There yeah. it is. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. no, it's our, my relationship's great. My dad's super cool with that. Yeah. You know, I told awesome. him while we were fixing my car, and he's like, I don't care who you bring to, I don't care who you bring to Christmas dinner so long as you're there. And I'm like, holy shit. Oh, dad. wow. Wow. That's so heavy. <laughs> This is my uh, dad, yeah, yeah. like a biker and shit. We're no like way. preparing my Mustang, like <laughs> yeah, wow. you know. He says that even by coming out to him, it took him like took me like a half hour to say it, and his like reaction was like ten seconds, and he's like, "Pass me the number 10. Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> That's it, Dad? Really? Yeah. Wow. The only man to ever be able to find his ten mil socket. Right. Well, we we yeah. we used to restore Supras, so we had a lot of those. We had to buy them in bulk. I think wow. keep getting stolen out of my toolbox. Oh. I'm missing like three of them. Missing like three of them right now. <laughs> Sorry, there's another thing here. Um, that's so great. That's so nice to hear because, uh, like, obviously for a lot of trans people, that, that that's not the issue. You know, it's it's, know. it's 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 it's, ter- it's terrible. I mean, I can't even. I don't know what I do without my parents. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what I do. Yeah. You know, I can't even. You know, I have some friends whose parents aren't as cool, but I don't actually have any direct friends whose parents have just owned them. But yeah. I mean, what, I can only imagine. Yeah. What I'm about even, your... I'm even getting like a little quivery thinking yeah. about like how, Fuck, you know, yeah. what I, I don't know what I'd do without my mom. Sure. And I'm 32, right? That's, I want to say pathetic, but like, you know. What, what do you mean? You know, no, no, no. I'm four. Well, like we're all mama's boys here. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. I, well, I can't. Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't be able to do anything without no, my mom. Yeah. No, me too. No, me so what about your husband? Did he meet any... Conflicting opinions with his family or anything? That see, that's what we thought. Like, I mean, his mom was so Roman Catholic and so yeah. religious. Like, every time, every you know, I'm I'm atheist as fuck, right? And every right. time I'm there, she's like, "Jesus loves you, Nikki." Like, I'm like, "Oh God!" But no, when he told her, she was just really, really excited uh, that yeah. he had found someone. The way he described it to her. She thought I was going the other way. Oh. I was a girl becoming a man, and then she meets me, and she's like. Oh my God! Like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm like, your mom thought you were gay. <laughs> yeah, that's so, amazing. So do you where uh, you do live? Do you and your husband? Where do you guys live now? Um, I actually live like five minutes from here, West Hollywood. Oh really? Okay. You, you like it here? I love it here. Yeah, yeah. And he still runs. You said he left his company, so or oh no, no, he like that was years ago. He's oh. a car, he's a car salesman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you guys just. I mean, living essentially just a normal life now. You're happy. Pretty, pretty damn normal, yeah. Yeah. 
nine to five. What's what do you guys have? What's what's in the future for you guys? Does he enjoy weed? Do you guys? What do no, you guys- no, he doesn't smoke at all. He's very very supportive. I mean, uh, one of our best friends owns like that. WTHC dispensary over the yeah. hill there. So yeah. no, he's always picking it up for me. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, but just not one of his. No. Yeah. What did, are, are, were the things when you were like very young that's, that would made a lot of more sense to you? Like maybe the confusion that you might have felt about yourself later on. Like like oh. I'm, I'm talking like for for maybe you know pe- like young kids like you know oh, like grade no, it three completely, for, you know, completely makes sense. No no no. Everyone but, everyone says looking back they like. How did we not put that together? You know, right? Yeah, what, 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 like, do you have an example? Like, what would be something that? And I'm not trying to pry too deep, and I'm not. I'm, I'm just. Okay, I, like I, the, I think it would be helpful for the people first to understand. Toy I ever picked out for myself was a My Little Pony. Okay. Re- big red flag. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. right. You know, I was always playing with the girls. I never understood why I had to, like, you know, yeah. why I couldn't play with them instead of that. You know. Yeah. Right. And then, huh. how, like, then how did you get, you, then were you uh, like always an athlete? Uh, yeah, yeah. My parents, my mom is very athletic. So, I mean, I played football, ba- baseball, basketball, soccer, hockey. Wow. Yeah. Uh, skateboarding, snowboarding, you know. And then I threw my knees out. I had a disease called Osgood Schlatter's. It's really weird. It, it's, it's, it's a knee disease. It makes it so you can't really run. So that's how I found paintball. That's, that's, I got you, that too. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my husband has that too. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. and so, it, but it, essentially, like just well adjusted, and then or, or seemingly well adjusted, no, like yeah. on, on the on the peripherals. I was, I was about as well adjusted as like I could possibly be. I had a great yeah. family. Um, yeah, just yeah. How is it when you go back home to like the people that you that, that probably stayed there? When, 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 like your relationship with like just people around you when you well, go back um, home. Well, unfortunately, I, I was one of those people who had a lot of people who would always support me. But okay. Yeah. Yeah, don't know how to answer a fucking phone. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. Like, oh yeah, you support me. Yeah. Right. But would you and like to go get some it. food? Like, no. Right. Oh, you want to be seen in public with me? Cool. Uh, but that was early on, and now I've kind of crossed over into the boom. Uh, <laughs> crossed over into the point where, um, like, you know, I'm getting creepy messages from my guy friends from <laughs> the day. Like, yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Really, really inappropriate shit. It's like. Really? Yeah. I never. People are just that happened. forward with you. Well, I mean, when you see the, you know, they think, people see the videos and think that, like, that's actually what I'm like. Like, yeah. I'm just some, like, right. slut that's, like, hanging around with my butt out all the time. Like, mm-hmm. like you know, Johnny Depp isn't actually a fucking pirate. Actually, that's a really yeah. bad example. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. kind of yeah. is, but. Yeah. He's not actually an actor. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm just, I don't mean to pick on Johnny Depp. Sorry, Johnny. Sorry, yeah, Johnny sorry, Depp. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's an avid listener. Hey, Johnny. I'm sure. Wherever you are, Johnny, I hope you're okay after this interview. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> the mean tranny made fun of me. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, so, so now you have like, you're like this, this is uh, like a part of your social life and things like that. How, like, it, it, you, it is work what you're doing. You're going oh, to it and, yeah. and you are putting on a thing. How do you, um, how do you mentally prepare for something like that, to be honest? No, no, thank, thank you for actually touching on that, because yeah. it is work. I mean, like, yeah. I, I don't work as hard as the other girls, but some of the top girls, like, they put in hours. Like, right. they really, it is a job. Like, it is a nine to five, you know, they're driving to Vegas, to LA, to here, to there, to yeah. there. So, yeah, but how do you mentally prepare? Honestly, it's, I really don't know. I don't even know how I'm able to do it, right? To have sex in front of a room of, like, you know, a bunch of, like, sweaty mm-hmm. dudes staring at me, and there's, mm-hmm. like... A table of sandwiches over there. Like, yeah, it's 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 really weird. But now you get into it, and it helps if you like the partner, right? Like if I'm yeah. working with a dude that I think is pretty hot, it's like okay, yeah, yeah, this is definitely no helps. Yeah. And then how does that affle- affect? Does it affect your your marriage at all? Does, how does your husband feel about it? Um, no, it's very separate. Like you know, yeah. um, basically. Like, it's not like, I hate the word cuck or whatever, because that's like the worst word in the yeah, world. Yeah, like, it's not like we're in an open relationship or anything like that. But yeah. I also met him very early on into being this person. Yeah. So I didn't really get that, like, uh, you know how everyone's kind of like a slut after they graduate, like, high school <laughs> or college? I didn't really get that. So, yeah. you know, I'm like, kind of like, hey... I'm probably gonna end up cheating on you. Let's make some money with this you know, sort of <laughs> yeah. thing. Oh, really? And it's it's very not it's not sex. Like it is. You know, yeah. the videos are. You know, I get I get it. Yeah. But it's not romantic or anything like that. Like I don't yeah, hang right. out with these guys. There's like two guys I'm friends with that I actually yeah. would hang out with. That's right. Like, but yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then how do you, do you find it, like, how did you get into it? Did you, like, uh, just start putting things out on the internet and then maybe an agent called you? Or how, um, how does that, well, how does yeah, that always, process I'd work? I'd always been, po- like, nothing, nothing. 
make it or anything. But yeah, yeah. Um, I'd always been posting photos, and uh, one of the big, uh, um, his name, his name was Christian. Um, yeah, what's up, man? Uh, he. <laughs> Uh, he kind of gets all the new girls. He's very, very yeah. active and searching. So he'd been hounding me for like about a year. And I didn't want to do it, you know. Mm-hmm. I found that my mom had come out of retirement to work at Linden's and things, stocking shelves, minimum wage, just to help me with bills. And all of a sudden, like, you know, this is, porn's kind of degrading work. But man, learning that, mm-hmm. that was, that was mm-hmm. super degrading. Mm-hmm. I just felt right. so bad. Like, so... Sign me up. Yeah. So I jumped in, and it turns out I was good at it, and it didn't weird me out. So yeah, mm, easy money. Yeah, and then wow. did you do? You, do, you, do your parents and everybody know like your line of work and yeah, stuff like no, that? No. You're totally. No, my mom's always asked me like, "How's it going? Like, are you you know, is it doing well? You know, I don't tell them like they need yeah. gritty, but yeah. yeah. It was, yeah, you know, my dad was cool with it. He said, you know, you only have to, I'm like, I'm sorry for embarrassing the family. He's like, oh, you only have to be embarrassed or you only have to be embarrassed if you're bad at it. Are you bad at it? <laughs> really? and I'm like, no, dad, I kick ass. And he's yeah. like, not a girl. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, he, he always like surprises me with his comments. Was, yeah. Like, Sounds like you have such yeah. a cool family. Like, yeah. The guy, the guy that should be the judgmental one just like does not care. So. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's 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 fascinating. That's it's, you've you've had such a you've had such a, a an interesting story. Mm-hmm. Um, like where 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 does it go? Like where 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 does it go from here? Like what like you, like you try to make enough money and then you you retire? Where where, where what's what? Yeah, I can't really what, see myself in the industry too long. You know, yeah. I'm I'm kind of it's kind of like ageist. You know, the younger girls sure. obviously book a lot more than me. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind shifting into like a behind the scenes sort of role or something mm. like that, but. Like director or producer? Yeah, I think I think I'll be getting like a normal nine to five within like five years or so. Yeah. Yeah. It does it, it do you want does it like you said it's easy money. Like I imagine it pays pretty well. It pays well, but depending on like, you know, you're at the mercy of your fans. So if right. you're really popular, mm-hmm. you'll book a lot. Oh, okay. If you're not popular So you'll book a lot. Like so do you do like um like I know, I know. Like, there, like camming's a huge thing. Do you do all of that, or do you just do the sheets? Um, and I don't like. Out? I don't like camming just because it's really degrading. Like, it's just guys right. shouting gross shit at me, like all over. Like, you know, shows yeah. your shows your whatever, yeah. shows your vagina. Like, dude, I would if I could, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, it's just really gross. Um, yeah. I prefer the porn just because it's there's like a window or like we're separated. Exactly. You know? I have my the barrier. barrier. Everyone on set is so respectable. Like, mm. you know. No, I've never had anyone do anything inappropriate or anything mm-hmm. gross or creepy. A <laughs> couple of the directors are kind of creepy, but yeah. in a good way. You know, and yeah. I've been shooting porn for 35 years. How the hell would I not be creepy? Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, what can, can, are you allowed to share? Like, you don't have to say any names, but no, yeah. no, like, no. What happened? And nothing like, wrong. What, what, like, I, I actually like the creepy guys just because. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Because they're generally the funnier ones and they're making jokes and, like, it is an awkward situation, right? right so yeah. if you're not laughing at right. it, like, yeah. like, you know, hey, we're naked on some Airbnb's, <laughs> you know, yeah. kitchen island. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out for whoever rents this after. That's why I'm always warning you. you like, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's great. When you're in Vegas in that one hotel room, totally. and, like, wash your hands. Was that you that yeah, called us out on that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I was in the bathtub like, just I like, like <laughs> look at the wall with the, like the sun shining off dude, it. You'll see lube hands all over. so yeah, good, dude. Oh, gross. Oh, really? Was there lube oh, hands? Yeah. Dude, yeah, uh, we were in the... Uh, oh, we wow. What was, what was that hotel? That is the Palms place. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah. It was. Well, I, love, I love that I can tell, like, I know every hotel in Vegas just from the bedspread. Like, ah, Flamingo, hello. <laughs> oh, room 213. <laughs> there's, a, there, there's one, there, there's like... <laughs> like I don't know, fuck it, I'll just share this. There, there's uh, there, there's like one scene, like like set bathroom set that's somewhere like in the porn world. There, it's a it's a glass shower next to a tub, and I've seen that in like probably thirty fucking porns now, man. It's a very very popular location, yeah, yeah. and it's kind of killing the mood for me. I'm like I'm like this is not the fucking place they're pretending it's to. It's, it's, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know, right. do, do, do you do much? Like I, I haven't uh, I haven't. No, it, it totally it totally kills the mystique. You're like oh yeah. I've been that house. Like, yeah yeah it did it did it does. That's hilarious. And do you do much acting with your stuff? Like like do you guys do do you do much of the plot stuff? It depends on like it depends on the company. Like there's companies like Trans Angels that give me like like literally I had like a three page script and stuff. Stuff. And yeah. like they, you know, the director was really good. I loved working for her. I was like the first trans chick that she, like, she's a okay. long, like, her name's Kay Brandt. She's been doing it forever. And okay. like, I was the first 
person like me that she ever directed. Yeah. So it was really cool. cool, but she cast me as a girl that wears a pink velour suit, goes to the gym, <laughs> drinks iced coffee, and is high maintenance. And I'm like, man, you could have not cast <laughs> yeah. a worse. Like, literally, everyone else is better at me than this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's know? hilarious. So, uh, but, you know, generally, it depends on the company. Some yeah, is yeah. like, hey... Hey, baby, you know, like the cheesy yeah, sure. ass fucking porn shit. Yeah. Some are like actual plots with like. Yeah. You know. What do you prefer? Oh, Sorry. I, I like the wham bam. Thank you. Like, yeah. who the fuck watches the plot? Yeah. I, well, okay, okay, maybe you guys. Ben, yeah. You know, Ben fast forwards through the sex. He just can't wait for that story. <laughs> right, right. Where's the storyline picked back up? I'm so, a cinephile. Man. Right. So, <laughs> so have you considered acting outside of this? Um, I actually got cast in an HBO show, but I couldn't do it. Yeah. Really? Oh, you, I remember you yeah, were talking yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah. 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 I can't say why I couldn't do it, but yeah, you know, bummer. Yeah. So my Everybody friends that did it, they said it was kind of degrading, but you know. Uh, what was the show? Were you allowed to talk? Uh, no, I don't. I wouldn't tell me. NDAs. Uh, so yeah, 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 I didn't. Yeah. I didn't get past that part. You know. Mm -hmm. What's I was your, gonna see if you knew what happened to Jon Snow. <laughs> no, no idea. Yeah. No idea. No, I'm just kidding. What's your favorite stuff to work on? Like the Wham Bam for sure, but is there like? Um, like, well, I like doing the like. I'm not really too into like girls and stuff, so I like working with guys. Um, and just the simple stuff, stuff that's not like overly over the top, just normal. A lot of the times they make us have sex and they make me do things that like none of, like girls like us yeah. don't do like i take so much drugs it does not work yeah. it's it's decoration so right. when you watch the porn oh. where the girls are like on top like that's you know don't get me wrong those girls do do it but yeah. generally that's not an as, accurate representation of right. what people like us actually have sex like so yeah, yeah. i like to do more natural you know yeah yeah which again is destigmatizing. Yeah, I mean, like when I started, uh, there weren't a lot of. Well, it kind of was like you had to be willing to top, right? Which is right. Um, and there are very, very few girls. Like I think there was one or two, maybe, in the industry um, when I got in that refused to do it, and I also refused to do it. So I was always oh. amazed that I was still booking, and people were still like, "Hey." Sorry, to, to, to be a top? They, they, they wanted tops or they didn't yeah, want they tops? Yeah, they wanted, they demanded that you top. Even oh. if you didn't like like doing it and only did it oh. like once or twice, they oh. demanded it. I huh. refused. I said, there's absolutely no way. I don't need your money. It's fine. Yeah. Um, and yeah, for some reason, I still got work. And now it seems to be a pretty normal thing, which is oh. cool. Yeah. So the industry really did change. A lot of the sites that like had the word she male in it, which is like a yeah. gross fucking word. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, like, I mean, I can use it, right? Pause, just let that, that the helicopter go by. Hey, could you grab me some water? Absolutely. Hell yeah. Whoa! Boom. Hey. Whoa! That's fucking teamwork. Making the dream work. It's about as good as a guy playing basketball outside at like 12.30 last night. Yeah. He's got hoop dreams. He does. He does. Yeah, yeah, he does have don't, hoop don't dreams. Don't stand yeah. in his way, man. Yeah, man, you know. He almost had a death wish. <laughs> there was only one basketball. way out of the Hollywood Hills. Basketball. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> the mean streets. Oh yeah, it's the only house with no three that didn't have three bathrooms. What <laughs> we, was he gonna do? We are we we are in Grand Theft Auto Town. Hey. Yep. Where were we before the break, though? Uh, I think you asked me the kind of scenes I like to shoot. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, we were just so, yeah, gen okay, back to that. Generally, natural stuff and normal right. stuff. Yeah. You know, stuff that isn't too, like, too hardcore part in a way. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, ooh, yes, and yeah. know, stupid stuff. So, when, when you, when you uh, retire from this life and you go back to a nine to five, do you and your husband plan on having, like, a family? Yeah, and like yeah. That? No, I'm one of the few that really, I, like, I want to be a mom. I don't know how else to repay my mom. Like, I, yeah. I'll right. never be able to repay her, but you right. know, if I could make her a grandma, that'd be dope. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I know um, that I can't actually do it, you know. Sure. Yeah. I can, you know, I can poop, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, I can't wait to adopt a kid, and, you know, my best friend's that's adopted, cool. and he's, like, the, you know, one of the most standout people I know. So I think that's I really, amazing. I, you know, Adoptions to me, yeah, just as valid. And it's yeah. so needed. Yeah, yeah, man. There's, you know, there's a lot of kids out there that that need a home. Right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. I was, you know, I spent a time where no one wanted me. Right, so I'll take the one no one wants. Give me that one. Yeah. You know? uh, I'll give him an awesome life, or her, or them, cool. or them, or yeah, fuck, who <laughs> yeah, knows? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, that's that's incredible. I mean, uh, where can people find you online? What do you have like? What do you have next professionally? What do, what are you promoting? Do you have anything uh, you want to get out there? Kind of on a hiatus, but on Twitter, I'm Nikki Vicious XXX. I think. Yeah. Um, and Instagram. Uh, fuck it. How do you? Uh, it's nihilist. N i h i l l e s t. Like yeah. nihilist, but like with like a beastie voice influence. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like your social media is like. I, 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 I said this to you when I was talking to you. Like, I feel like you're it. It's an inspiring place to be to watch yeah. your journey online, and I think even you being on here might inspire some people. Yeah, you know, well, like, I, I, thank you. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm just trying to do a more accurate representation because for me, yeah, those porn girls were really cool, but they're all like, you know, full glam every fucking day mm. and all this shit. I like my interests. Like, I like cars. I like that stuff. I'm mm. not going to change who I am just to suit a mold because I, I did that before. It fucking sucked, yeah. man. Like, I just yeah. want to be who I am. So. Well, and, and, and it, it kind of goes back to, like, what you're saying. Like, uh, when you said, like, the my, my Little Pony was the first toy that you went for. Like, who's to say that that's, like, a boy or a girl's toy? Or why, why no. does that have a gender why assignment anyway? Why can't it just anyway? be a toy? Or, like, the it's color a fucking pink. little horse. It's a, yeah, it's yeah, a, it's why can't? It, yeah. yeah, what's the big deal? Um, there, there, there's so many constructs that, like, obviously you're very familiar with, but of, yeah. of society that are so... So, which is fucking nonsense, really. No, it's, it's, you know? it's ludicrous, right? Yeah, and, and, and I think the more people kind of recognize that, you know, um, that that's like, that flower over there is a flower, just but it's not a girl flower because it's pink. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's just a flower. Yeah, yeah I can't you know? tell you how many times people told me Miatos are girl cars, like Mazda Miatos. Yeah. No, they're death traps, and they're really fun. <laughs> it's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. No, they're really fun death traps, actually, yeah, like guys. They're, yeah, they're not, like, that's not a girl's car. That is a fun fucking car, yeah. and because people told me that it's a girl's car, I never drove one, and I really? finally drove it, and I'm like, yeah. this shit is fucking awesome. What, what do you yeah. drive? Do you drive anything? I drive right? a skateboard, or a as my friend says, I have a Shubaru. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A Shubaru. Yeah, my Shubaru. That's what, what's amazing. your dream car? What would you get? Um, I used to restore um, like Mark II Supras, so I'd love to rebuild one of those, but probably uh, won't. You know, no airbags in LA traffic. Uh-uh. Yeah. You yeah. know, the Miata. I will have an antidote really quickly. Okay, when, please share. When my one of my bands, when we first got on Epitaph Records, I remember. Dan, our guitarist Dan, his roommate had a Miata he was trying to sell and he wasn't driving it. Yeah. And so let's, let's weird everybody out at Epitaph. So we sh- pulled in shirtless in the not Mazda, the Miata with the top down and pulled in and everybody there's just looking at us like, who the fuck are these guys? Hey boys. Shirtless. Yeah, it was, just, it was great. But the Miata... Right, carry, right. carries a heavy stereotype. It does, so we, it does. we rode that stereotype all the way to the office. Right. It was That's amazing. That's fucking awesome. Good first impression. Yeah, exactly. The Miata. It's a yeah. special car. Oh, this person, I think I remember. Uh, maybe not. This person's going to be respectful worth our money. Who's that? Oh, yeah. Just the dude it, showing up. showed up with the Miata, Miata was shirtless. <laughs> partied, all the partied label, out in the yeah, Miata. Yeah. Label's yeah. like, oh, this guy's <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. glad. Is the so contract glad. actually signed? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So glad these guys are here. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, thank you so much for coming on to the show. No problem. Um, Again, like, uh, unless you guys have anything to add, like, you, like maybe the maybe the one question. What's that? Whose weed's better? Oh, Vancouver here. Yeah. Oh, that's not a bad one. Oh, you see, it's a tough call. When I first came here, like, LA could not figure out. Like, it was all so fucking chemi. Like, yeah. Everything just tasted so like. Right. <laughs> and like you know, I tell people the stories of back home of like for a long time, I, like ounces were like eighty dollars. Like, so people are like, you know, when you tell me stories about how much weed I smoke, they're like, how the fuck did you even do that? It's yeah. like, no, it was mm-hmm. cheap. Mm-hmm. So I would say Vancouver's was better. Now mm-hmm. I'd say it kind of, you know, same, same shit, same. different pile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What kind of weed do you smoke? Uh, I prefer indica usually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I generally actually mostly just smoke dabs and stuff. Yeah. So shatter. And- yeah. Vancouver was always ahead of the game, having like smoke friendly bar. You know, smokers' lounges, things well, like that. Yeah, they, well, they just kind of looked the other way. I, I, I threw some fucking pretty wild weed parties in Vancouver, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, they, they just looked the other way for so long. Now that's kind of gone with right, like the regulated market. Like a I remember bit, going you know. to like a smoker's lounge. That yeah. They didn't even sell weed. It was no, just a lounge. That's the Amsterdam yeah. Cafe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was great. But we Like on, um, what's, what's the, the, the big... Uh, the big strip there, the college. Granville? The Granville, like, yep. yeah. Like, I've thrown, like, I used to work for a dispensary from there, from that area, mm-hmm. doing their PR and their events and stuff like that. And we, like, we would, we just, like, paid them some extra money, made it a private event, and we'd have, like, dab bars inside, like, a proper club. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. but it was just, it's just the culture in Vancouver is just no, so, yeah. like, lackadaisical about weed. It's, yeah, it's, it's kind of how LA has gotten. But, yeah, yeah, I no, feel it's, this, it's yeah, not a big deal. I mean, yeah. it just really, people all smoke weed there. 
Yeah. I was about to be mean and say they were like days ago about crack too, but uh, no, not crack, well, it, it's heroin. I was just kidding. It was a mean joke. No, there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot. It was of unbelievable. Yeah. 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 I remember we were. I went to the rickshaw and I saw the Misfits when it was at nice. Jer- Jerry only fronting it. Yeah. Oh, not and not as nice. Not as nice. Still, still, still cool. good. Still good. Hey, night, but he I never, back you, Jerry. I think you're I, great. I, I, I liked it, but he. I didn't say Jerry. You're gonna ask me Danzig, dude. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Hey, I'm 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 more Danzig, but whatever. And he, he's up there and he's playing, and at some point he starts talking about all the heroin addicts outside, and he's like, Vancouver, you guys need to like shape it up and help these people. They're here because we're the only city where you don't die at night. Yeah. Right? Like you yeah. can survive the winter in Vancouver. Yeah. That's why they're yeah. here. The train station's a block away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, and, and it is getting better. I mean, they have so, so many harm reduction programs that they're working yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and there's like, I don't love this term because it's, it's a buzz term, but like a lot of people, a lot of thought leaders in that, in, in doing really great, good work within that space. And then, you know, it has, I used to, my first time going back out there was, you know, probably around the same time I met UF and we were touring out there. And like East Hastings would look like the fucking Walking Dead. Oh, it was yeah, wild. Yeah. yeah, and now it was like uh, it was like downtown in the nineties. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, yeah, downtown yeah. LA. You mean or downtown, downtown LA? Yeah, it was just yeah. zombie zone, man. Yeah, the guy really. was walking to your car it, and I mean, stuff. It still Seriously. is sadly stepping, okay, o- stepping over stepping over bodies. I remember. Yeah. Oh yeah. Jerry's up on stage and he's like, "You guys oh, need sorry. to do something about this." He's like, "I would never ever bring my kids here." And someone from the back yells, "Your son is playing bass, asshole!" Oh. <laughs> 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 We're from another city. Don't make fun of our shit. We're doing our best taking care of them. Yeah, like, we yeah. all, you know, wow. teach these Canadians of not being compassionate. It's kind yeah. of fucking laughable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's yeah. an epidemic, right? Like, I'm not going to I'm not gonna let the heroin people in my house. Sorry. No, it's an epidemic yeah. here. It's an epidemic yeah. anywhere. It's yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's really it's, sad. It's really tragic to watch, watch yeah. them suffer like that and yeah. how... Yeah, as a society, we can't treat them like humans for some fucking reason. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Vancouver, like, pressure washes the alleys. Like, they yeah. literally, like, pressure wash the bums right out of the alleys. You yeah, said you insane. said you drank you, you drank a bunch. Did you ever, like, deal with any addiction problems? Uh, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I had to deal with alcoholism quite a bit. Yeah. So I try yeah. and, you know, limit myself and, yeah. you know. Um, you still drank a little bit here and there? He, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, mean yeah. I got a lot. I, <laughs> this was not an easy journey, right? No, so for sure. You know, there's right. a lot of self No judgment. I, I, oh, yeah. No, no, no. I got to sure. control my drinking all the time. It's, right, 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 right. Plus, you know, I live in Hollywood and my girlfriends are always going out. Yeah. Like, no one seems to ever want to just go to a restaurant anymore. Right? Yeah. Everyone's, yeah. let's go to a bar. Like, huh. Yeah. But, no, I struggle with that stuff. So, yeah, yeah. but... Hence why I like weed, because yeah. although I did actually develop a weed addiction at one point, because you, okay. you can be addicted to anything, right? Like you can be addicted to bird watching, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it becomes something that you fixate on. Right. Um, but no, weed, I've never really had the, the struggles. Like alcohol, alcohol has consumed yeah. me for multiple years sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So, no, you can become, what, what happens is, is um, from my understanding, is, is um, like there is different kinds of addiction, but... Um, if something makes you feel good, it releases yep. dopamine in your brain. And, and if something makes you feel really good, you release more dopamine. So you become addicted to that sensation that right. it makes you. So you do, it's, it's, um, it's the same reason like people get addicted to a clove cigarette. Even yep. though, you know what I mean? It's, so it's, it's, it's habit forming, but it can be more serious. And that's something oh, that needs to be acknowledged as well. You know, I just, I let, I wasn't, I wasn't in check. You know, yeah. I wasn't, you know, yeah. I was, once you start smoking weed instead of seeing your family and friends yeah. and stuff like that, then it's like, okay, yeah. that's right. too much. Right. Right, and I'm not talking about that, like you know, one Saturday where you just want to chill the fuck out. No, of course, yeah, it's just constantly not being there. Well, um, Mm -hmm. tell us again your socials again one more time. Twitter, Twitter dot com slash Nikki Vicious N I K K I V I C I U S X X X. Yep. And Nilles, N I H I L L E S T on Instagram. And you're on hiatus for a little bit. I, uh, I mean, yeah, yes and no. No, no one's really calling me right now, so right, I'm not, right. you know, I'm not really too into asking people like, right, hey, right. hey, yeah. you yeah, want to yeah. see my butt? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I do a lot of stuff on OnlyFans too. Like, I don't know yeah. if you know what that is. I don't know. What no, that is. it's like a little, kind of like a private social media site, like kind of like okay. a Facebook just for people that pay to subscribe to you. Oh, like a okay. Patreon. Right, right, right. So you know. It's a little. I can post stuff without it being like on Twitter and like sure. Everywhere. Yeah, right. And so his right. OnlyFans is that. Does your husband ever get involved in the? Oh no no no! He stays way far away from it. Like oh uh, yeah, you, you know, said you know, he knows my friends. He knows all about it. You know, but it's just kind of we keep a um, we keep it separated. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. well, Nikki Vicious. Hey. 
Thank you so much for telling us how you got yeah. into the weeds. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. thank you for awesome. being here. No, yeah. That was so great. That was great. That was how great. fun. Great. Hey. 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 This episode was presented by Pot Guide and WikiLeaf. Please follow ITW on Twitter and Instagram at Get Into the Weeds. You can follow Ben Rispin at Ben Rispin. You can follow Ephraim Martinez Schulz at F by Stereo. And me, Bubba Nicholson at Bubba Nicholson. ITW's theme music was written by Jacob Bergsma of My Son the Hurricane. Visit them at www.msthofficial.com. Special thanks to our friends at Puff Digital, Program Skate and Sound, and the Slide Bar in Fullerton, Orange County. Sound engineering provided by Roman Marconi at Halo Studios Hamilton. ITW was created by Ben Rispin and is produced by Master Volume.